Well, after multiple rounds of job cuts in the last year, including one last Friday, Catalan is not likely to meet the requirements to receive the tax abatements granted to it by the city of Bloomington in 2022. Benta Boutier has this report. Bloomington's Director of Economic and Sustainable Development, Alex Crowley, says the pharmaceutical manufacturer didn't meet the threshold for job increases to earn the abatements, though they have until 2026. In exchange for a $350 million capital investment, the city agreed on two abatements with Catalan. They would give Catalan a 90% relief on personal property tax for 20 years and a 50% break on real property tax for 10 years. The total net percent value of the abatements at the time was a little more than $29 million. Bloomington will still benefit from other conditions the company had to approve to have the abatements, like the capital investment. So that has worked, you know, as it's supposed to. We, we um, set some thresholds that we wanted them to meet. If they met it, then they would be able to take advantage of it. And if they don't, then they don't. Crowley says Catalan has indicated it won't meet the requirements by 2026. He adds the company communicated with the city quickly about the layoffs. We really appreciate it when we have engagement with, with businesses like the Catalans of the world, the Cooks of the world, and uh, because, you know, it, it, it helps us understand what's happening. It helps us, you know, build resources and, and direct resources in the right way to kind of solve the larger equation. Catalan laid off 150 employees last Friday. They came on the heels of 400 jobs that were cut last November. For Indiana News Desk, I'm Ben Taboutier. A condition of the severance package Catalan sent to laid off employees this week prohibits them from speaking to the media about the company and terms of the package.